Welcome back. I'm Pascal Marschiff and this is Chef's Choice. Too many songs have been chosen this week for the Eurovision Song Contest 2017. So I'm splitting my reviews in three parts that will hopefully be uploaded before the next load of national finals on Saturday. Today I will be talking about Portugal, Australia and Romania. The other songs by Cyprus, Greece, Croatia, Estonia and the Netherlands and Belgium, which will be announced tomorrow, will be in the next videos. And for all the earlier songs you can click on the info button up here where I put a link to the playlist with all my reviews. So let's start. First off is Portugal. Well, no one can say that the ESC is only about Europop anymore. Because with Salvador Sobral we have a style of music that we rarely see in the contest. It won't be everyone's cup of tea, but there's a timeless quality about the song that is indisputable. It's so soft and subtle and Salvador has complete control over his voice. It's incredibly hard to tell how it will be perceived and how many people will vote for it in the end. But however the results will be, I'm glad that Portugal returned with so much confidence and I wish them best of luck. I was afraid the past couple of weeks that it would be quite a boring contest this year. But the past few days we got quite a few interesting additions, Portugal included. The only thing I would suggest is to slightly clean up Salvador's appearance because it's a little too messy for me. He needs to stay true to himself, of course, otherwise it will seem fake. But at least give him a shave or a better fitting suit. Just this morning, Australia announced their contestant and their song. Isaiah, the winner of X Factor Australia 2016, will be performing in Kiev. He can surely sing, and he brings with him a ballad that could just as well be sung by Sam Smith. However, it feels quite repetitive and he almost needs to drag me along the three minutes of the song. Also, his voice wasn't nearly as strong in the live presentation as it is in the official music video. He hit all the notes, but it didn't have the same depth and strength. But Australia completely surprised me last year as well, where I didn't like the song at first at all. But seeing it on stage, it all came together and absolutely deserved the second place. So I'm excited to see what the staging for Isaiah will be and whether he makes it to the grand final or not. And the last country in this video is Romania. I'm completely torn about this song. There's a lot that I like about it, but also a lot that doesn't quite work for me. I like that they bring yodeling back and Ilinka proved that she can deliver it live as well. The song really stands out and will be memorable until the end, but I think they could have gone much further with the yodeling and made it much a bigger part of the song. I understand that they wanted to mix up the yodeling with the seemingly more current rap elements, and the staging and outfits, but somehow these rap parts and especially the guy's styling makes it more dated than current. Actually, I think I would have preferred a version without him completely because she's clearly the star of this performance. The main problem that I have with the song is that they use these traditional folklore elements in the chorus of the song, but it doesn't come across anywhere else in the way that they present it. I think there should be more reference to this in the whole concept. But anyway, I'm sure it will be very refreshing to see on stage in Kiev. So that's what I have to say about these three songs. If you want to hear my opinion on Cyprus, Greece, Croatia, Estonia, the Netherlands and Belgium, subscribe to my channel and turn on the notifications so you won't miss it. And now tell me in the comments what you think about the three songs in this video. I'm sure there will be some mixed opinions. So thank you for watching and goodbye.